nila mga coaches eh. Kasi you want to get in and out like take out. Mabilis ka lang dapat dyan pagka mga kaya mo yung teams. You have to take care of business right away. And we are underway here in set number two. Maraming salamat. Sinong panonood at Tom Ross alongside Coach Hammer, Mark and Antonio. And working the sidelines at court side, we have Hannah Arguelles. You know, we have been raving about the young middle blockers. And yun nga, no more Sid Niego's biggest loss for JRU this season, but uh, these girls making her proud. Laban yung bata. Laban, ha? Tsaka mataas yung work rate niya. Kanina nabanggit natin na siya talaga yung suma-challenge and moving side to side. And finally, the team captain, Rasiel Aldea. Getting a quick attack to go. Ang buntong hininga sa parang sa wakas. Pumasok din. Kasi nanggigigil siya eh. Nakita natin first two middle, first two quick sets na binigay sa kanya nag-error. So Aldea, second straight season as the team captain of the Lady Altas. And an ace by Shai Omipon. Now, I think if there's one area for improvement para kay Shai, it's her service. Last season, out of her 153 points, labing dalawa lang yung service points, service aces. What more if she can really add a layer to her offensive arsenal? Kasi ang game ni Omipon is really built on power. Power player, power hitter siya. Parang kahit karagahan mo ng tatlong blocker, babasagin at babasagin niya, she would try. Nabanggit nga ni Coach Sandy that she is trying to improve on her game. She wants to be more finesse be a little bit more finesse on her game. And it did affect, syempre, yung mga pagpalo niya sa service. Magta-translate yan. Sa atin, activating Aldea dito sa pagsisimula ng set number two. Dapol. Down the line. Coverage is there. Omipon was there. Dapol again. Okay, that's good floor defense and net defense as well for the JRU Lady Bombers. One of the longest rallies of the match. Uh, they are able to put the ball up despite the pressure being applied by Dapol. Yep. And in that rally, uh, Dapol had three attacks that they were able to contain. But again, an error on their attack gives a point to the Lady Altas. One of the things that I'm noticing all this also said JRU. Remember when uh, Alonya was playing heavy, heavy minutes. Oh. Now, may rotation siya. Sinandalawa ni Lalo Kisim, the rookie. Si, si, si Alonya, putok na yung kilay. Naglalaro pa the, maglalaro pa the following game. I remember that. Na, kaya, battle din Bruce. <laughs> Talaga siya season 19. Remember, we would watch her sa beach volleyball and, and like yung cuts niya, kitang-kita sa sun. Oh. One of the most conditioned players that we've seen dito sa NCAA. Palitan eh. Pag hindi kasi makondisyon eh, huwag ko na lang. Dodanya. Good thing. Ah, double contact. Double contact on the side of the Lady Altus. Point goes to the Lady Bombers. Nicole De Alla. The lefty. Let's see her serve. It's a floater of a serve. Laurente. Sapin, back set. Ocado, nothing there. They go to the other side. Dapol okay. sacrificing her body. Si Coach Sandy, napatayo eh. Sinasabi niya, pabayaan mo na yun. Pabayaan. Mahaba pa ang season. Kasi this was a a great hustle play. Coming off a very nice cross-court hit. Hinabol pa ni Dapol. Napatay mo si Coach Sandy. Dapol. Ginahan. Wow. And that's why she's the MVP. The creativity. The non-stop focus. This is not an easy spike. Coming off an attack, resetting, she then attacking right away off that first ball. Laurente, back set. 
Sapir. To get Dania. And that's what they need to do. A whole lot more against JRU. Kasi nakikita nga natin, si Batara lang yung talagang Gina G pagdating sa blocking. So, kailangan i-maximize mo kasi meron kang mga matatangkad na frontline players. Si Zeldea, itong si Bedanya. So, kailangan puntahan mo ng puntahan. Pagurin mo yung kabila. High flyer din si Deala. Lorente, back to Deala. They are making the Perpetual Lights work, Coach Hammer. But again, Danya, a regalo. Hindi naman yung birthday, pero may regalo sa gitna over that. Yun yung pinakamahirap i-block yung regalo. Kasi nagsiscramble ka pa on the back line. Kita mo nga yung center na yung sumaba. Love the flick of the wrist. Oh, sharp serve by Okado. Ooh. She okay? Yep. Parang tumama yung ulo niya sa... Buti na lang, may cushion. Alright. Perpetual leads JRU 8-4. Good job ang isang Pinay weightlifter na nag-qualify sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Si Rosie Ramos na ang ikapitong pambato ng Pilipinas sa Paris. Nakuha niyang slot matapos manalo sa women's 49 kilogram category sa Olympic Qualifying Tournament ng International Weightlifting Federation sa Phuket, Thailand. Tubong Sambuanga City, ang 20-year-old weightlifter na pinsan ng Olympic gold medalist na si Heidelin Diaz. At nagbabalik ang NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball Live here on G. Now, with the perpetual Lady Algas doing in favor here in the first set, this puts a subtle pressure on the backs of the JRU Lady Bombers. Kaya naman, paalala ng coach nila na si Coach Mia Choseco, this is nothing new. We do this every day sa training, kaya ayusin natin. For the perpetual side naman, na-mention nyo nga kanina, Anton and Coach Hammer, ang kapitana ng Lady Altas and how much untapped potential she has. Mukhang in the off-season, she recognized that and made sure to tap into it. Mas maigi daw talaga siyang nag-ensayo. It at itong Queen Altas at Pinush ang kanyang physical and mental strength to possibly show a Razel Aldea 2.0. Now, let's see how things turned out in this set. Will they end up reflecting last season or will things take a turn for the unexpected? Anton and Coach Hammer? Thank you very much, Hannah. You know, when you're the team captain for the second straight season, there is that pressure to repay the trust that the coach has given to you. And playing in your final season, that's what Razel Aldea is trying to do. And obviously to graduate as a champion. Yep, that's what she wants. That's what the team wants. But hindi lahat ng gusto natin, nakukuha natin, pero pwede nating pagtrabahuhan. Yan lang naman ang sasabihin ni Coach Sandy. Lahat gusto yan eh. Lahat gusto mag-champion, especially on their last year. But are you willing? And with the report of Hannah, yun yung ginawa niya throughout the offseason. Sakit naman ng lead niya ngayon. Totoo naman kasi. Masakit talaga yung totoo. Lahat gusto mag-champion. Pero at the end of the day, sa sampung team, isa lang dahil. Lahat tayo ngayon sa NC. Di ba? Isa lang ang mag-champion dyan. So kailangan gustong gusto mo. One player that has impressed me also from the GRU side is Camille Bustamante. Number 11 seems like a player also kind of like in the mold of a Dolly Versosa, yun nga, yun yung pick high naman flyer, nila. has power. Gusto ko makita kung mga freshman ba itong mga ito, mga frosh pa. Kasi nakikita mo may athleticism. So ako, with, uh, with my uh, field of work, pag tinitignan ko, may mga trainable traits ba sila na kaya mo pang iangat yung floor ng team? Meron eh. So pag mga bata pa itong mga ito, okay yung recruiting class natin ni Coach Mia. I actually meant uh, si Cherry Dayame, number 11 from the JRU side. Rookie daw talaga. Ang, ang, ang true rookies ni Coach Mia, Dayame, Deyala, Lalong Isip, and one of the reserves, si Ramos. Pero transferi si Del Pilar at si Preta. Mm. Yeah. So meron at meron. Dayame. 
De Ayala. Not over. Coach Mia wants to talk things over as Perpetual once again establishing a big lead. Subtle technique work as we see uh, Sir Frank Goosey, of course, from the University of Perpetual Health. Um, athletic director niya. and uh, attorney Jonas Capuchon, of course, from the San Pedro University. There you go. No, kasi eh, hindi ko pwede makalimutan niya. <laughs> baka baka oh, isumplex si hindi ako ni Atty. John. So, gonna kita ako. <laughs> so, one of the things uh, I was telling Coach Hammer while listening to Coach Mia's huddle, yung mga nag-warm up na perpetualites at tatangkad. At tatangkad. <laughs> at tatangkad talaga sila. Nakikita nga natin eh. Ang uh, perpetual help System Delta. Lalo na ngayon with Coach Olsen, sila Coach Sandy. Yeah. May pick na sila eh. Lahat ng players niya athletic across the board. Talagang athletes ang hahaba at mga springy athletes. Too strong. Palo ni Batara. Okay din tong Batara. I think she's on her second or third year if I'm not mistaken, because she was there last season, sparingly used. Because of Sid Niegos, oh. who plays pretty much the entire game. Ang pahinga lang ng technical timeout. Yeah, she's a sophomore. Uh -huh. Si Kring Batara. So you, you have pieces. You have pieces here that you can work with. And ang kagandahan dito sa team Nigeria, as early as now, they are a top out because they're competing. They're really competing. Kahit hindi mo nakikita on the scoreboard, they're, they're giving you a high work rate, and that's what you want to see as a coach. And really, as of this moment, though, Perpetual's biggest opponent is themselves with the number of unforced errors that they are committing. Count that as opening day jitters by their partner. Uh -huh. We give it to them. But for the most part, you got to build build up things towards the middle part of the season and then for the stretch run. Kasi, ano sila, cruising speed sila last season eh. Omipot again. Laurente to the captain, Ruiz. Sapping quick attack para kay Aldea. And that's another point for Perpetual as we head to another technical timeout with the Lady Altas leading JRU 16 to 7 here in set number two. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elrin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59-kilogram event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228 kilograms at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapwa-atleta at Tokyo Olympics gold medalist na si Heidi Lynn Diaz sa parehong kategorya. Nakabuhat si Diaz ng total na 222 kilograms. Si Ando ang ikatlong Pinoy weightlifter na nag-qualify sa Paris Olympics. Sa kabuuan, siyam na ang pambato natin sa Olympics na magsisimula sa July. Good job! 16 to 7 in favor of the perpetual Lady Altas. At siguro isa sa mga pinaka-proud na nanunood ngayon. Number 9 ng men's basketball team ng perpetual Jello Razon. Coach Amers, sino ba ang pinapanood ni Jello? Balita ako. <laughs> yung mga nagsiset up din ah. sa si Min. Min din yan. Okay. Sabi na, big supporter ng Lady Altas. Proud BF daw ni Min Min Sapit. Wants to put it out there. Pero Jello Razon. Mag magkaiba sila na daw. Si Jello kasi pass first, pass sa ring. <laughs> pass first to the ring. You saw Dali versus yep. our new assistant coach 
of the JRU Lady Bombers, former Queen Bomber. Mm -hmm. Is she still playing? It's a pro circuit. I am not. Uh, I am not sure. Yeah. Because after she graduated, she played a couple of conferences. Eh. I, I I wouldn't uh -huh. be surprised though because uh, you know Dali is still very young. But I, I I like how she answered the call of Coach Mia. Now when Coach Mia asked her to come back and help her mold these young ladies, very quick to answer the call. Brother, nothing beats coaching at home. Nothing beats it, and winning at home, nothing beats it. Kaya yung mga ganito growing pains, magandang kasama siya dyan. Kasi eventually, when you see that, uh, may silver lining eh, every, every journey. Pagka nakikita mo nung nag improve na yung mga bata, ang laking bagay niyan. Especially for her. What I like about what Perpetual is doing, the variety of plays, exactly. especially for Omipon, ang daming combination plays for her. Yun yung hinahanap natin. Na, babalikan natin kayo yung pregame natin. How will this ball be distributed? They're giving a different look. But still the same suspects. They know their percentages, kung si ni mga players nila na very effective. Dinadala lang nila sa ibat ibang spots. But right there, that was a very good hit for the Lady Bombers. Queen Bomber, Shola Alvarez, former NCA MVP as well and member of our broadcast team. Oh, si Sid Niegos, katabi ni Shola. Bakit siya nagtatago? <laughs> Si Shola, parang ano, ready for date night. Eh. <laughs> Back to the ball game. Back to the ball game. When it comes to fashion, how come all of a sudden you go silent, Hammer? I don't know, mga varsity coins. Pag naglalaro ka ng matin, oh. ng NCAA. Lahat ginagamit ko sa attributes, hindi sa fashion. Hirap na hirap niya ako maghanap ng damit. Black tsaka white lang yung sinusun. They're very basic. Hammer is a basic guy. I know. That's what, that's, that's what that's <laughs> Ball is up in the air. Here's the toss. Cross court. And crossing. Three touches pala. Nicole Deala. One of six rookies. The way she plays, uh, I like the way that she is playing. But this girl has been playing well today. Talking about Winnie Bedanya. And in this second set, she already has three of those quick attacks. You know, I would say, uh, Winnie Bedanya is one of the more underrated players in the league, Very Coach quiet. Hammer. Very quiet. Just go about, goes about her business. Very effective on the middle. It's a matang kan na middle blocker to. Because Perpetual has got two players in the top three in scoring in Omipo and Dapol. Ang sumunod na na scoring nila si Bedanya. But she's ranked 29th. The top heavy talaga yung scoring nila. Well, double digit scorer parehas. High keys atong si Omipo and on the 20s si Dapol. Dapol getting the point. So we can see now, Bedanya is still looking for that consistency, Coach yeah. Hammer. It, there are times when the timing is not there, kaya hindi masyadong baon yung palo. Oh, but uh, if she can develop it. She's working with the second setter right now. Uh huh. You see, uh, Fifi. Fifi. Pag kanan kanina, kaya min min na two times, two times, yung mga pangalan pa na <laughs> setters nito. Uh -huh. And. Mas maganda yung bigay sa kanya ng bola. But right there, getting another point si Winnie Bedanya. Very impressive in the opening day. Ito si Bedanya. Now I can see why Coach Sandy told me na minsan sinastart niya itong si Ariola. She's got skills. So a more serious tone and Dali Versosa joining that huddle now. There, the coaching staff for the JRU Lady Bombers. Ngayon, hawak pa lang yung clipboard at saka yung marker. 
Ayun mo, by the middle of the season, kumukrokis na yan. <laughs> so we are seeing the rookie setter, Fifi Ariola. Can you imagine if uh, they stick together all throughout their time in the NCAA? Magandang, ano yan, tandem yan, first and second setter. Yeah. Ni Min Min at ni Fifi. Pero alam mo, Coach Hammer, this year, tama ka eh. This has to be the year for the Perpetual Lady Altas because Aldea is graduating, Dapol is graduating, Okado is graduating, Cordero is also graduating. So, this has to be it. This has to be the year, Coach Hammer. Who's one Yola goes to the opposite side and GRU gets a kill block. Better blocking by the Lady Bombers right here. Makikita natin na wala halos na daanan. Ayun. Strip right there by Hasarero. Jen Silverio. Number six, Sizzle Rosario. Silverio taking her time. Ariola to Enrico. Ariola goes to Dapo. Down the line. She makes it look so easy. The MVP. Oh, parang may dalang net ko sa bulsa. Lahat ng palo, sukat na sukat. Ang hirap niya na ito na yung... Off a back set, going down the line. Your momentum bringing you to the other sideline. Getting into that zone number two. Yun lang. That's really the only thing that's hurting the perpetual lady Altas now. Huge lead established by the lady Altas. Back set. And JR, you having trouble putting that ball in the air. Set point for the Perpetual Lady Altas. The Lady Altas is now at set point. Nice hit by Krisha Cordero, one of the graduating players that I mentioned. Apat sila. Playing in their final season. Rosario tossing it up to the captain, Ruiz. Rosario. Ruiz. Free ball for Perpetua. Combination play. Ariola. Omipon. And. Oh, there's a check. That's a set point. Omipon again. The finisher for the Lady Altas. And just like that. The Lady Altas, one set victory away from taking their first win of the season here in season 99 of your NCAA.